top seven business mistakes. There are so many mistakes that people are making with their business that is stopping them from making big money, stopping them from getting to that next level, turning customers off, and absolutely ruining their businesses. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the top seven biggest business mistakes so that you can avoid them. Let's go. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. If you gotta get it done, all you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big stack. She can fix that. Let's fix that. In this episode, I'm just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna share with you the biggest business mistakes because I am a real estate multimillionaire, an entrepreneur, a mentor, a best-selling author, a speaker, a mama five, and so much more. So over the years, I have made so many mistakes. Yes, I am successful now, but I have done so many things wrong. So I'm gonna share with you all of those wrong things that I did so that you can do them right and never go down the path that I have gone down. So first off, you need to know that I started off broke bankrupt, bad credit, multiple foreclosures, no job, no money when I started investing in real estate. I ended up getting a coach because I was able to cancel one of my classes just to afford it and I was able to get some really good advice on how to create a very strong business that makes lots of revenue. So in the process of losing everything and becoming a multimillionaire, I have learned so many things and the first thing that I want to share with you is what not to do. So let's go. Number one, not registering their business. The first thing that you want to make sure that you actually have is a business that is registered with the Secretary of State so that you truly are separating yourself from your business. So many entrepreneurs think that they can just start from nothing, they have no money, so they don't want to get that LLC or that corporation registered with the Secretary of State, they don't want to get the EIN, and therefore they don't truly have a business that can get business funding. Did you know that most businesses fail in the first five years? Yeah, it's true. 80% of businesses fail in the first five years. And the reason why that is, is most don't have enough capital to keep going. So in order to keep going with your business, you are going to need an actual business because then you can get business credit and business funding. I'll talk about that in just a second. But the mere fact that you don't have your business registered with the Secretary of State, that you haven't applied for an EIN with the IRS, which is absolutely free, will cause your business to be not be eligible for funding. There are so many grants available, especially for with businesses that are people of color, people that are women, um, veterans. There's literally grants and funding directly for you, earmarked money for underrepresented groups. Well, well guess what? Whenever you're applying for any of that funding, you need to have an actual business, not just an idea. And many people think, well, oh no, I'll get the business going, make some money, and then I'll do that. Well, that's a big mistake. Even if you have to just borrow the money to get the business registered, do that. Again, most registrations in most states cost between $100 and $400. Yes, there are some states that are a little bit more expensive like California, but again, that is still worth it because it will unlock the door to business funding and business credit. So it is still worth it for you to invest in a real business and then actually do the business. But let me keep telling you all of these business mistakes because this will help you have a very successful business. Number two, not building business credit. So like I said, from secret number one, where you need to get your business registered, you literally can start building business credit with just a business entity and EIN and a few other things. In fact, I have an entire video that I've made with all of the essentials that you need to get a business and get business funding. I'll put a link right here. Well, the problem is, if you don't actually do those things, then you can't get business credit and business funding. But not getting business credit and not getting business funding is a really big mistake. Businesses can get more funding than you could ever get in your own personal name. Your personal credit was not designed to fund your business. That's why there's business credit and business funding because businesses can actually get more money and it would actually help you create a situation where your business debts are separate from your personal debts and your business can actually borrow money and doesn't require you or your social security number in order to get that business funding. So not getting business credit, not getting business funding, really big mistake. 
time out. Before I get into the rest of these mistakes, please know that I have an entire playlist, so many videos where I make on how to have a successful business. Make sure you check out that playlist and make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you can get all of this great free information that I'm bringing to you almost every single day. Number three, ruining your business credit. Just like not starting your business credit, ruining it is a very big mistake. So some people have watched some of the videos that I have made and they will start to build business credit and then they won't pay the invoices. So as soon as they start building business credit, they immediately ruin that business credit. This is a major, major mistake. You don't want to ruin your business credit as soon as you get started. Once you start getting those business credit cards and those business invoices, please make sure that you pay them. Ruining your business credit can actually end up where you have two bad profiles. You may already have bad personal credit. The last thing you want is bad personal credit and bad business credit. So again, keep your business credit clean, as clean as you can. Sometimes you can actually even use your business credit to fix your bad personal credit. Again, I have videos on that, but ruining your business credit is a major mistake. You wanna make sure that you avoid it and pay something on those invoices so that you don't have derogatory business credit off the gate. Number four, no business checking account. So many business owners will actually go through the process of getting a business and never open up a business checking account. This is a major mistake. When you open up a business checking account, that not only helps you separate your personal expenses from your business's expenses, it actually opens up the door to business funding. In so many cases, when you go to open up that business checking account, you may go into Chase Bank or Wells Fargo or Bank of America, they may offer you a business credit card and a business line of credit right on the spot. So not having a business checking account, not only is hurting you because you're not separating those expenses, you're also making a big mistake because you're gonna need those business checking accounts to get statements and get funding, and you will need them for your tax returns, which we'll talk about in just a second. So not getting a business checking account is a major fail. You want to get a business checking account, and in many cases, you might even get multiple business checking accounts because you can get multiple business funding, business credit card, business line of credit from multiple banks without ruining your own personal credit. Number five, not filing their taxes. This is a major mistake. You have to file your taxes every single year. Again, so many people hate doing it. They think this is a big problem. Oh my gosh, I have to file my taxes. Maybe I'll just get rid of this business and start another business so that I don't have to file the taxes. This is a major mistake. Make sure you are filing your taxes every single year. Some of you may not have been around or had a business during COVID, but the biggest problem for people not being able to get any of the PPP money or any of the funding or any of the emergency you know, disaster loans that were available was because people had not filed their taxes. If you file your tax for your business, you actually can even get help from the government. The government has funding, the government has grants, the government has contracts that you can use in your business. But guess what? If you are not filing your taxes, the government knows and they are not going to help you in need. So it actually is a benefit to file your taxes because in most cases, businesses do not pay a lot of taxes. You can easily get a business accountant or a CPA to do your taxes and it'll actually help you with write-offs, deductions, and so many other things. You're probably missing out on so many deductions and so many benefits by not filing your taxes. So go ahead and file those taxes because that is a major mistake if you don't. Number six, not marketing. So many people don't want to spend money on marketing. They feel like, oh man, when I start making money, then I'll start marketing, then I'll start advertising. That's a major mistake. As soon as you start making any money in your business, you should start marketing. You should start getting more customers. You should start telling people that you're out here doing it so that you can grow your business. There's so many different ways to market yourself. It doesn't have to be expensive. You don't have to run ads. You literally can get a logo and walk around with it on your shirt. You could get your car wrapped or get magnets for your car. You could walk around in t-shirts with your business, advertising your business. You can get bus you know, stops and, and advertise in magazines if you want it. You could advertise on social media and spend just $5 marketing your business. But not marketing your business is a major mistake. You don't want to wait till your business needs money for you to start marketing to get more customers. You should always be marketing to get more customers. You should always be up-leveling yourself so that you can bring in more business. And you should always be trying to grow your business so that you can always have a business and maintain it. Number seven, no classes. 
So many people will take no classes, no education, no seminars, no conferences. They have this business and they're in this industry or in this profession, whether you're a photographer, a videographer, a wedding planner, an event planner, a YouTuber, a no matter what it is that you do, hairdresser, landscaper, I could go on and on. You should be doing continuing education. You have to invest in yourself. Every single business has new programs, new technology, new apps, new ways to do things. And you cannot just rely on all of your old information to take you to that next level. You should be investing in yourself. And again, if you're following your taxes, these are amazing tax deductions. Usually you can write off the expense, the travel expense to the conference, the hotel, the conference ticket, the food that you ate there. It literally is an incentive for you to invest in yourself and in your business. And not doing so is a reason that so many businesses fail. When you are connected with people in your industry, well, guess what? They can tell you which banks are lending, how to get more credit cards, how to advertise and market over here, new cheaper ways to do X, Y, and Z. Again, there's so many benefits to coming to classes, investing in yourself, and investing in your business to take it to the next level. I have a special gift just for you. I have two books that are gonna help you invest in yourself and maybe you can use it as a tax write-off. Go to noellesbizsecrets.com and pick up my two books on how to be great. Literally, Real Estate Millionaire Secrets has all of my secrets on how I was able to invest in real estate with no money, bad credit, and Millionaire Business Secrets teaches you all of the secrets on starting a business that can get funding. This will help you build business credit. It will give you secrets on how to do this in a low cost way and how to take your business to the next level. Please know that readers are leaders and you want to get these two books and you can get them for free at noellesbizsecrets.com. You just covered the shipping. Again, that's noellesbizsecrets.com. Go there right now because these books are almost sold out and supplies are limited. If you go to noellesbizsecrets.com right now, we will ship these books immediately. Go right now. Again, that's N-O-E-L-L-E -L -L -E with an S, biz, B-I-Z, secrets, S-E-C-R-E-T, s.com noellesbizsecrets.com get these two books shipped to you immediately i just want to make sure that you have all of the knowledge all of the resources and all of the tools that you need to be successful this is noelle to your success